Take a sample of her blood and then get rid of that. Yes, sir. Paris facility. Food supply is down to 50%. Six casualties. Biohazard numbers increasing. London facility. Food supply is down to 28%. 17 casualties. Biohazard numbers increasing. Gentlemen. Dr. Isaacs. How good of the science division to join us. Chairman Wesky. I've been busy. On the subject of the biohazard, what does the science division have to report? Well, we now know conclusively that they have no real need for sustenance. They hunger for flesh, but do not require it. My research indicates they could remain active for decades. We're to be trapped underground for decades? What news of Project Alice? Using antibodies from her blood, I will develop a serum that will not just combat the effects of the T-virus, but potentially reverse it giving back these creatures a measure of their intelligence, their memories, thus curbing their hunger for flesh. And you're confident you can domesticate them? They're animals, essentially. We can train them. If we can take away their baser instincts, they'll never be human, but would provide the basis for a docile workforce we can return to the surface. After months of experiments, you have nothing to show, and we are left to rot underground. Without the original project, Alice, progress has been difficult. I've been forced to replicate it using clone genetic models. It's laborious. The results, unpredictable. Project Alice, the subject of domestication, is of the highest priority. You will concentrate on this to the exclusion of all other research. We will expect an updated report within a week. Simply demanding results will not guarantee them. Then perhaps we should place someone else in charge. Someone who can give us the reassurances we require. Continue with your research, Doctor. While it still is your research, this meeting is adjourned.